Welcome to another Spread Cheetahs video guide. You can find written instructions for these steps on the Spread Cheetahs website. In this video, we'll see how to calculate employee turnover in Excel. Excel can be used for all types of calculations and also to build calculators. When you use cell references in formulas, this makes the calcul calculator more dynamic and you can use it uh, by changing the different numbers and getting uh, different results. So in this example, we're going to calculate the employee turnover. So for that, I need the number of employees at the start of the year and the number at the end of the year, as well as the number of employees who resigned during the year. Employee turnover or attrition rate is usually computed on an annual basis. So the first thing we need to do is find the average number of employees in the year. So for this, I will take uh, this will be the number at the start of the year plus the number at the end of the year divided by 2. So once I have the average employees, I then just need to get the uh, employee turnover rate. For that, it is the number of employees who resign divided by the average employees. So now that I have the rate, I can convert it to a percentage by clicking the percent style button on the ribbon. And now I have the employee turnover or the attrition rate, which is 7%. Since this is built as a calculator, even when the numbers change, the uh, result will get updated. So for example, if 25 employees have resigned, the percentage gets updated automatically. This is how to calculate employee turnover in Excel. Please read the appended article for further guidance.